Okay friends, uh, new shoe video really quick. It's super windy out here today, so if there's gusts of wind while I'm talking, I apologize. Um, I picked these up on sale because the new version came out. You can sort of see what they are, and I'll let you know here in a second what they are. Um, I bought these with my own money. Um, you know, we're out the park as usual. Uh, I'm back here, so the light's a little dark, so I apologize. Because like I said, I tried to go out where I usually film, but um, the wind is really bad. So I'm using the building to kind of shelter it as best as I can. So, further ado, size 13, New Balance, fresh foams. What are they? They are... like New Balance uh, 1080, or, uh, 1080 V10s. So, uh, yeah, like I said, I got these on sale um, because the version, or the V11 just came out. And uh, I wanted to buy these last year, but they never went on sale. They were like $149.99 the entire year. And a lot of people reviewed them, a lot of runners reviewed them, they loved them a lot. There's a couple doing some batting drills for softball, it looks like. Um, that's what that pinging sound is. So, uh, they, uh, like I said, they never went on sale. So I never picked them up because, to be honest, it's hard for me to spend 150 bucks on New Balances because I'm more of a Nike, Adidas guy. Uh, and I do like Under Armour too. So when it comes to the other brands, I'm, uh, I scrutinize them a little bit more. Um, and I don't really want to spend my money on them as much as I do, like, or as easily as I spend my money on with Nike or Adidas. <clears throat> so um, I try these on. They do fit true to size. I wear a 13. They're super comfortable. Um, these are the normal version. I did not get the wide in the store. I bought these online. In the store, when I tried them on, all they had was the wide, and I liked the wide. It was it was good. I think in the version 11 or the V11, I'm gonna get the wide, uh, probably in the blue color, or the black with the blue highlights. Um, the uh, they're pretty nice. Um, as you see, I wore them a little bit. They're a little dirty. That's why um, to kind of get a feel for them. Um, normal tread, not anything for a trail you know this is all for like road work uh indoor in a gym or whatever they're suit they are comfortable and i know new balance makes a a uh a higher stack than this one um i don't really like the look of that shoe so i'm not too interested in it compared to like this one I'm trying to get this closer to you know, light um but uh i'll just go back up here again the um this shoe, I think, is is really nice. I do like the cup on it. Let's go back here. Um, it does, you know, you, you do feel good. Your heel uh, fits into it really well. Um, here's what I like about this shoe. I didn't think I was going to like it at first with this pronounced part that goes up by your Achilles. But you can just slip your foot like that into it. It's, it's pretty cool, actually, even with a sock. And, and a, a lot of times, as gross as this sounds, I kind of wear my shoes without, without socks in the summer. Um, and, you know, they get grody, and I just throw them away. Um, the shoes that I don't tear up, I resell on eBay. <clears throat> but, uh, so, even with this shoe laced, and, and I love the tongue, the tongue on this is nice, too. Even with this shoe lace, and I don't lace them up too tight, um... You can just zip your, your foot into it and it feels nice. Now, if you're going to actually go do some road work, you're going to have to re-lace this up and you might not be able to slide your foot into it like that without actually tying it. But just casually, you can just, you know, zip them right on and it's it's actually pretty cool. And it doesn't look too bad either when, you're, when, you're, when your foot is in here like that. Let's see if we go, if we make it like that. Um, it does actually cup your Achilles pretty decently. And I didn't think it would. Um, this part is hard. 
this is a prime knit you know type material it's stretchy you can see it your foot is nice and the nice part is it that um, if you're a wide footer um, they do make a wide but even in this shoe it, your your pinky doesn't shoot out the side so that was in and over the uh, the front of the uh, the midfoot um, uh, here's some disappointing news though so it's comfortable I like it a lot I enjoyed wearing it uh, all day yesterday and I actually did a video but I didn't like the video and I that's so I'm redoing it I'm gonna try to make it shorter here too and he kills it but there are cracking baseballs or golf balls I think um, the uh, the one thing that I I kind of have negative about this, everyone talked about how cushy feeling this is, and it's like walking on a cloud. I found it to be quite average, to be honest. Um, you know, like I said, I'm a Nike and and, and Adidas guy, and uh, Epic Reacts feel about the same as this to me. Um, I don't know what the Infinities are like because I have to get those still, but and since and like I said, I'm a I'm an Adidas guy. My UB twenties. Uh, and I do have a pair of UB21s that are sitting in a box to review, but um, my UB20s and UB19s, I actually, I actually enjoy these, enjoy them cushion-wise a little bit more than this shoe. Um, I know that's like seditious talk for some New Balance fans, but um, I, like I said, I just found it to be quite average in the the the, the cushion for the fresh foam um, technology compared to Boost. Um, and that might be biased because I do wear a lot of Boosts. But um, would I, you know, look away from this shoe and not wear it as a just like a daily casual shoe and go to the gym and, and some light road work? I'm not, a, I'm not a great runner, so I don't go crazy. Um, no, I'd still, I'd still invest in it. Like, you know, like I said, I paid my own money for these. No one's endorsing me. I got them for 89 uh, bucks online um, because the new version's out. So it's a, it's an easy cop, in my opinion, if you wanted this shoe and you were on the fence about getting it um, because it's under 100 now. Um, and it's every color, too. You know, I almost got the white with the green, but... It's still spring here in Kansas, and it's gonna rain even though it's dry right now. And um, that's kind of a crapshoot, but I, I do believe it's still going. We're gonna get a rainy season here in Kansas, and I hate tearing up my Ultra Boosts, so I figured I'd get the black to you know mush it up. So, um, but that's basically it. If it's nice, if you're a wide footer, it does come in wide. Um, if it's true to size. Um, it is comfortable. I do personally feel there's other shoes that are for, in my wheelhouse that are more cushionier, but I enjoyed wearing it. It's a neutral um, shoe, so uh, it doesn't. Ha it's not a stability shoe, so it doesn't have a crazy high arch. So you still might need to put your uh, your arch support in it if you want to. Best part about it, like I said, you can leave it laced or unlaced. I kind of wear a lot of my shoes unlaced, and going back on what I said you can just slide your foot right into it just like a slide and that's obviously what the designer intended to that that you can just do that um, and that is that is really cool I actually like that a lot so all right New Balance 1080 V on sale pretty much everywhere just google it um, pick yourself up a pair they there's like five colors you can get if you like the channel um, give it a thumbs up uh, you know hit the like button and, you know, and come back. You know, I, I'll throw some other stuff up here, too. Uh, I try to do these in one take versus being super polished. So apologize about that. Apologize about the lighting. Uh, and uh, not going too technical on it and more just on feel. You know, I know there's a lot of technical reviews, but I like to just kind of like what feels good on foot. And uh, this is an enjoyable shoe. So it... it, it uh, uh, like out of a one out of ten, one being the lowest, obviously ten being the best. I would give this like a a seven eight rating, you know, uh, somewhere in there. It's 
it's definitely a decent pickup for under a hundred. Um, and, uh, you should add it to your collection as a daily, you know, casual shoe or daily trainer. All right, guys, enjoy. Have a good day. March 7th, 65 degrees here in Kansas. A lot of wind. Hopefully the weather's nice where you are. All right, later guys.